Hi, this is Chicka Wolf Ranch, and we are Homestead Homies, and you're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. All right, it's Doug with Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Today we're going to get back on the greenhouse build, and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to assemble the door and the hardware for it to uh, run on this track. So let's get started. All right, so um, probably uh, if you guys have a tin man in your area, a person who sells tin, or even some of the uh, hardware stores or wherever you're getting your materials from, they're going to have these, uh, like, it's almost like a quick door uh, setup, okay? So basically your 2 by 6s will go inside of uh, this channel, and then uh, on the outside of that channel is another channel where your um, tin, or your, in this case, tough text panels are going to go into. And then you'll have two sides, and then that is going to give you like a quick door uh, for you to put together instead of maybe building one out of scratch um, with wood and then maybe hinging it or something like that. So these come in pretty good handy. Um, I don't know really where you can get one, but our local tin guy has them. So it's an uh, easy and quick way to uh, make your barn doors. Uh, for your structures. So I'm going to show you guys how all this is going to go together. Okay, now these door um, frames, if you will, uh, for the barn doors, they come in eight foot lengths. So we have determined where uh, or how long we're going to make our door. <laughs> we determined how long we're going to make our door, so now I'm going to give it a cut. All I'm using basically is a metal bit on the DeWalt, and um, it's just a sawzall. You can probably use a host of many other tools. This is the one I'm using. And now we'll cut the other side to match, and then we'll put the uh, two by sixes inside there, and I'll show you how it all goes together. So now we have both sides cut, and we'll start to assemble the door. Okay, so I have my boards cut here, and uh, I cut uh, eight foot boards in half. So that gives me two, two uh, four footers, two four footers, eight foot board. And so what I've done now is, uh, that's why I like these uh, door systems. They're very easy to use. And again, you could probably get them at a local hardware store or if you have a tin guy around your area, somebody who specializes in selling tin, um, that's where I got mine. Um, so uh, what I wanna keep in mind when I'm building out the frame is I basically probably only need three supports for this short of a door, um, which is fine. But I wanna make sure my middle support is a, is a where I'm going to be securing my latch. And I'm gonna show you guys in a future video um, how the latch system is gonna work for the door. Um, so I wanna keep that in mind. So I've determined it to be roughly from the top of the door around 42 inches. Um, you know, so it can fasten and I'll be able to reach and Stacy will be able to reach right inside to, to get it. So we're gonna put these boards inside these tracks which again, that's why I really like this kind of a system. It makes for an easy build on the door. And then we'll make sure once we have our stuff in that we'll make sure that the, uh, uh, both of the corners are good so we're square on our door build here. All right, so now that we have our door square, uh, I got my first panel on here. I am gonna go ahead and use the foam strips, especially um, on the top. Probably I'll use them on the bottom as well so I can get a nice seal on the door. Now we'll get our uh, second panel on. Nice thing about uh, these Tough Tech panels too is a lot of things you get with stickers on them, you know, they come, they don't come off all the way and then you gotta 
get hot water or you know lemon juice or all this other kind of stuff uh, these uh, stickers that they put on the Tuftex panels they come off really nice okay I have my cutting apparatus which there's a good story behind maybe remind me one time I'll tell you about the story of my pocket knife here um, a lot of people ask what you can cut Tuftex panels with a box uh, knife cutter uh, a good sharp knife um, you know anything like that works really good so we'll get this uh, get this cut here I just want to try to make sure I'm cutting as far over as I can so I have room to feed into that lip but as you can see, I mean, with a good sharp knife, this cuts relatively easy. No special tools required. So I'm pre-drilling all my holes. Now we'll put the screws in. Again, make sure you don't over tighten your screws. All right, so now basically I'm just going to repeat that process on down the door and then we'll get to uh, putting on the hardware and hanging it on the greenhouse. Okay, so <clears throat> I already have the other side put in, but I just wanted to kind of show you how it goes. So the rollers go on the top. And this bolt that you have here, which I'm going to show you how to do the adjustments too, just slides in through the top because that's that's how it's going to go. So it'll go in like this right here. And believe it or not, you want a good tight fit so there's no sway on the door. And then I'm going to explain to you guys I'm going to explain to you guys in a second why is why this crook is in there why is it shaped like that and then when i show you that it's going to all come together you'll totally get it up here but on this side right here I have a gap that it's supposed to be flush up against there so I'm going to show you why those uh, bolts there have a, a little kink in them and uh, that's to adjust your door all right so I don't even know if you guys can even see it but there's a gap right here and it should be flush up against this doorboard here so what you do is you take your uh, tool here and as you turn it it'll bring the door in See how it just sucked it in? So that's how you get a tight seal on your barn door with this type of uh, hinge. So I just sucked it in like that and then that causes it to, uh, or I turn this here, uh, bolt, and then that's what causes it to uh, move. You can push it out or bring it in. So that way you get the um, tight seal on the door. See? And then when I put my door um, latches on here, uh, They'll pull the door close too, but if it was, if I didn't have this proper, then when I tried to pull the door down here, 
it would pull the door here but you would still have a gap up here you want this whole line of the door here to be flush with your uh, to make a seal like a door seal all right so now what you do is you tighten this bolt this nut here Then it comes with this shield here, right? And what this does, right here, I'm gonna show you. So, this goes up on here. All right, so you got that on there. And then you run your screws in there. And then that prevents that nut from turning, loosening up on you, so your door stays in a fixed position. And then all you do you put your second nut on there tighten it down And then you just repeat on the other side. All right, so that's it. Uh, basically, you guys, I just did the same thing with this uh, bolt right here. Tightened it on, fastened it, put the lock washer on there, then put the second uh, nut on there, and now it's all secure. Um, and then, you know, it's basically just like a barn door on a greenhouse, so that's going to work real good. And then uh, I'm going to show you guys in another video coming up uh, how I'm going to... Um, secure the door right because on a barn door type of deal there's only two ways you can do it I could have built um, framed in a door right here um, that we could just pass through and go in and then if we needed really to open up this door we could just open it up like this um, with that middle door closed right so it's like a door inside of a door but what I've decided and why I mentioned it earlier in the video about putting this um, right about here um, is that I'm gonna lock it from the inside and then we'll just have a hand deal where we can just put our hand through there Unlock it and then open it up. So that's what we're gonna be doing and as you can see it's functional um, That'll allow the air to go through here real good And then like I said on the other end I'm gonna put the door on that side opening to this side So, you know the air can travel through there instead of maybe just one straight swoosh I don't know if that's gonna help you know if it gets too hot in there or not but i thought it would uh i thought it would so that's probably what i'm gonna do so there you go you guys have seen how the door is going to go on the greenhouse i really do like this uh track system for the door it makes it for an easy build and uh that's all i got for you guys today thanks for watching this is off grid with doug and stacy don't forget to check us out on facebook instagram and twitter and we'll see you tomorrow hey guys thanks for watching our video you might want to check out these videos and if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.